Okay, let's get more on this now with the founder and executive director of the Centre for Policy Alternatives, Pakya Soti Saravanamutu. Welcome to the program. Really good to have you with us. Firstly, we know the MP's actions uh, remain unclear in terms of the implications for President Rajapaksa. Is his leadership under direct or immediate threat right now? Absolutely. He is facing an unprecedented threat. The word on the street is, is that he should go. He should go and the rest of his dynasty, the brothers and all of that, all of them should get out. So he is facing an unprecedented threat. He's lost his parliamentary majority. Now parliament must act fast. Today, the leader of the opposition spoke about asking him to go and also about abolishing the executive presidency where all power is concentrated. So parliament will have to move very fast in terms of taking control, he'll have to appoint a new prime minister as well, because the word on the street is, is that all of them should go. And uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa, his brother, the former president, who is the prime minister, must also go as well. Now, is there a formal or legal mechanism in the, within the parliament that can actually remove the president at this point, or does he have to resign voluntarily? Well, he can... He can call an election in 2023 if he decides to stand for re-election. So there are only two options. One is, is that he resigns, and two is that he is impeached. Impeachment, of course, is a reasonably lengthy process, and the public sentiment may not necessarily stand for that. He has to resign, basically. And we have seen anger spill onto the streets of Sri Lanka. We know that the country is in the grip of an economic crisis at the moment. Can you uh, give us more of an idea of, of what that economic situation is and why uh, this current Rajapaksa government is being blamed for it? Well, the economic situation is one in which there is a scarcity of everything. Inflation is spiralling. There is a shortage of from everything from gas to basic essentials. There are no goods necessarily in the, the shops for people to buy. They have to stand in queues in the searing heat. Already three to four people have died as a consequence of having to stand in queues. Now, the Rajapaksa's particular contribution towards this disaster is the gross mismanagement and incapacity within this administration to understand economics. They have steadfastly refused to go to the IMF and instead to pay back the payments with regard to international sovereign bonds. As a consequence, we have exhausted our foreign exchange reserves. Our ratings are rock bottom low. We don't have any access to international finance, market finance, or to bilaterals and multilaterals. And so we are absolutely broke at the present moment. And the people want an alleviation from the hardships that they suffer every day with regard to food, medicine, basic essentials, gas, fuel, all of that. Okay, Pakya Soti, Saravaramutu, we will have to leave it there, but thank you very much for shedding some light on the situation in Sri Lanka right now. We appreciate it.